sir. The champ is here, baby. Let's fucking go. 2022 Ottawa Natural Classic men's overall bodybuilding champion. Got my trophy right here. My two medals. We got lightweight first place and junior men's bodybuilding first place. And then super dope. We actually got a little crown right here. Um, doesn't really fit my head that good, but either way, super stoked. Uh, this is pretty cool, man. Honestly, an amazing experience. And um, yeah, I don't even know what to say, man. Just I'm just super happy. So it's currently two days post show now. It is Monday, June 20th. And I just wanted to sit down with you guys and sort of just do a post show recap and just sort of go over everything and um, talk about my experience, my prep and everything like that. I have notes written down in my phone of everything that I want to go over. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the show day video. It would have been posted before this. Um, but yeah, as you guys know, I didn't film a prep series this time. So a lot of you guys have probably been obviously left out of the dark and stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to basically touch over everything and talk about why I didn't film the series and just sort of update you guys because I feel like honestly over the last year um, I have sort of slowed down on posting content and I haven't really kept you guys updated or everything I didn't even really announce that I was competing um, so yeah I just kind of want to sit down with you guys and sort of catch you up and uh, just go over everything so I'm gonna pull up the notes on my phone here so the first thing I wanted to talk about um, for the show was is my granny um, so honestly over the last two years it's been pretty hard not only with the whole pandemic situation and gyms closing and stuff like that but i lost a lot of uh people in my life as well um my granny being one of them she unfortunately lost her battle with cancer um and yeah it sucks but um i wish she could have been there on uh saturday to witness all this because she was one of my biggest supporters but i know for a fact she was there with me in spirit um, which is why I want to point this out actually. So when I was doing my registration, picking up my, my number and everything, we got number one. Now, I don't know about you guys, but to me, as soon as I seen this, I knew right away, 100%, uh, this was a sign. You're telling me competitor number one, and then we walk in and we win the overall. That's not just a coincidence. That was 100% a sign. My granny was there with me and I know she was watching and she was on that stage up there with me. Next point is just going to be a prep recap. So as you guys know, I competed in 2020. Um, I actually did this very exact show and I ended up walking away with two first place medals again. So in lightweight and junior back in 2020, went to the overall and unfortunately lost by a split decision. Um, I was told that two judges had me winning, two judges had the other guy winning, and then the head judge obviously had to make a final decision. Ended up going with the other guy, which at the time was super unfortunate. I was devastated. Um, I made a show day video, as you guys know, I talked a little bit about it at the end, but looking back now, I truly believe that that had to happen to me. And it's funny because in the moment, you don't really realize that obviously and you're you're pretty upset but after that happened man like a fire literally just got lit in me i went back to the drawing board i had a crazy off season uh we had like a year and a half to improve uh before we started to prep for this show and i just fucking killed it man i locked in i gave everything i had into every training session um, it was me and my coach's first like official off season together. We had a little bit of an off season when we started working together, like back uh, before the 2020 show, but it was only a couple months. And then we hopped into prep and then with COVID and stuff, the show kept getting pushed back. And so this was our first real off season. And it was actually the first time that I followed like a strict meal plan, got in all my meals and everything like that. And we ended up coming in at like I think I was 154 maybe 155 I'll have to look back at the uh, the show day footage to see what I weighed in at on show day morning but we came in like seven and seven to eight pounds heavier this time for this show and uh, that was ultimately just it came down to uh, my off season and just killing every training session bringing on my weak points and I literally dedicated my entire life to doing this and 
it all fucking paid off because we ended up winning the show. A little bit of a recap compared to that prep to this prep. So uh, cardio, we were able to cut out at one week out from this show. Uh, last prep, I was doing cardio up until like two or three days out, 75 minutes on the stairs. We pushed cardio hard uh, last prep. And even though we cut it at a week out this prep, when we cut it, I was only doing 25 minutes. So that was the big difference with this prep guys was I was ahead of schedule like by a mile. Whereas last time we were suffering into the show because we were not ready. So this prep was honestly such a breeze and it fucking paid off, man. It was, it was just so much better. So another point too was uh, my calories stayed decently high this prep as well. Uh, last time we had to go down to like zero carb. Uh, the only carb sources I had last time for like the last five weeks into the show was veggies. If you even want to count that, it's mainly just fiber. So I was pretty much doing zero carb for like four to five weeks going into that 2020 show. Um, whereas this time my carbs didn't drop below like 100 grams at all at the lowest. Um, and my calories, uh, I think they got down to like 1800 this prep, but I was getting refeeds like pretty much every day because I was sending daily check-ins. I never seen below 1800 calories where as back in 2020, my calories dipped as low as 1300. So that was another huge uh, bonus at this point. Um, we were able to keep a lot more fullness, a lot more size, and obviously having that, those higher calories and more food, um, I was able to push it a little bit more in the gym and had overall more energy and stuff. So the starting point for this prep, uh, we started at actually around like 22 weeks out. Um, but it, we didn't officially start prep until around 18 weeks, but at 22 weeks out, that's when we sort of like started to tighten things up and basically prep for the prep, if that makes sense. So no extra snacks here and there, just strictly staying on the meal plan, making sure I'm doing my cardio, all that stuff. And just within those like four weeks of just tightening everything up, um, I dropped some weight, dropped some water weight. So it, it was nice to have a nice little head start. Um, and then at 18 weeks out, we officially started prep for the show. So another thing that I had written down here was just the stage weight, which I already briefly talked on. So back in 2020, when I competed, my stage weight was 147 pounds. And like I said, I believe I was 154 on the morning of the show uh, this time. So we came in much bigger. Uh, my conditioning was better too. Like we just brought in an overall way better package and that was just basically off of doing a longer prep, um, having a solid off season, improving a lot. And yeah, honestly, things just couldn't have gone any better. So another point that I written down here was just my training, which I already briefly talked on. So uh, after that show, I designed a new split catered towards bringing up my weak points that um, I believe I needed to work on, which I always thought I was pretty balanced, um, which I do think I am, but there was things that I could have improved on. So my biggest thing I think was my whole posterior chain. Um, so the back, the hammies, calves could always use some work. But um, yeah, so after the show in 2020, I designed a split catered towards bringing those up. So I had two back days during the week. Um, I had a pull down focus back day at the beginning of the week, which was just obviously a lot of pull down, stuff like that. Working on the width pullovers um, and then on Saturday, I had my thickness day, I like to call it. So that was um, a lot of like RDLs for the hammies, heavy rows and stuff like that. So just an overall like thick density day to add that thickness um, to the back shots. And uh, yeah, it fucking, it worked, man. My, uh, I think my back shots were some of the strongest. And um, yeah, we just, we brought an insane package, man. The plan, the plan definitely worked for sure. Uh, I switched up my training style a bit too. So I switched more to doing like heavier top sets. I was always a volume guy and I did take sets to failure, but I didn't. So the way I train now is everything, every exercise I do, um, especially if it's like a main compound movement, I'll do two sets to failure. So I'll just work my way up. I'll do like feeder sets. If that's what you're going to call it. And then I'll work up to like a heavy top set. And after that, I'll back off, maybe do like a, uh, Drop set, cluster set, something like that. That's just the way that I uh, like to train now. So why didn't I film a prep series? Um, so honestly, I touched on it a little bit already as well, but uh, with the pandemic and everything going on and gyms closing and stuff like that, 
I wasn't already filming content in the first place because there wasn't really anything to film. And I kind of liked it, to be completely honest. Um, I was just so caught up in filming content at one point, which don't get me wrong, like nothing wrong with that at all. Obviously, you know, you guys like that stuff, but it gets to a point where when you're filming all your workouts and stuff, sometimes it really just takes away from the actual workout. And I started to feel that. So when I had this like downtime where I wasn't really filming videos or anything, um, I kind of missed it and I fell in love with like just not having to worry about bringing a camera. I know it doesn't really make sense because I, I love filming videos and I have a channel and everything, but I just, I don't know, I just really enjoy like not having to worry about setting up a camera, getting angles, thinking of a title, thinking of thumbnails. It can, it can be pretty stressful at times, honestly. So it was nice to sort of just be able to go in and just fucking kill my training. And then once I started prep, I was just like, you know what? Like I'm enjoying this and things have been working and I've been improving a lot. Like maybe I shouldn't film a series this time, you know, maybe cause it, it did put a lot of stress on me last time. And I think it, it ultimately like played a part in how I looked on stage. Right. Um, so yeah, I just, I didn't film a series this time. I just really wanted to lock in. I really wanted to get some redemption and win this show. And, uh, we did it. So I, I honestly don't regret anything. I know you guys probably didn't like that because there wasn't really much content for you guys, but I truly believe uh, it was just something I had to do in the moment and it, it ended up working out. So um, that being said though, the next points I have here is what's next? Nationals question mark. So yeah, guys, um, we are going to nationals. Prep is not over. Today is my first day of my prep for nationals. We are currently seven weeks out. All right, what's up, guys? It's currently two weeks later since I've actually just filmed that last clip. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you already know, but figured I would just hop on here and keep you guys updated because, yeah, this video was filmed two weeks ago and plans have changed. So. Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know I made a long post about it, but long story short, I decided to pull out of my prep for nationals. I'm not gonna get too into it, but basically, man, just after 25 weeks of dieting, guys, I was just completely burnt out. Uh, my body started to fight back, and I just, I couldn't train. I was fatigued. My joints were just absolutely destroyed. I Honestly, it's my own fault. I went really hard back in the gym, like literally the next day after the show. Um, so that's on me, but I just completely burned myself out and it was kind of just a shock to my system We came in pretty peeled for the Ottawa show and we peaked and Afterwards man, I just I think my body was honestly just done uh, I started to feel kind of like sick. My throat was sore. My body like I said was just super fatigued I could barely pose because my legs were so sore. I lost all the definition in my legs like it was just really weird. Like I know preps hard and everything like that. I just did it for 25 weeks. I've done multiple preps. I know how it is, but this time it just felt different. Something just fell off. So I talked with my family, my coach and everyone around me and we all made the decision and we agreed that it's the best decision to just uh, stop my prep. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty difficult time, man. It was definitely not an easy decision. I'm not gonna lie, we shed uh, quite a bit of tears but it's honestly just for the best. If I can't bring my best to nationals and I can't give 100% effort, then there's no point in me showing up, right? We're going to win. I'm not going there just to participate. Competing is not cheap, it is expensive, and I'm not gonna waste all the money and the time when I can't be my best. So yeah, we made that decision. Just wanted to keep you guys updated. We are now back in the off season. That being said, we are gonna be doing nationals next year gonna come in even better we're gonna fucking kill this off season hopefully add another five pounds of stage weight bring up the chest bring up the delts calves and we're just gonna be unstoppable next year so that's the plan guys just want to keep you updated i'm gonna continue the rest of this video i did film the chest workout so i'm gonna play that footage now and uh yeah we'll see you guys in the next video Life, I barely spoken. Your words have been so broken. I've been under your hypnosis. Why did I sip that potion? I'm so done with holy ghosting. My birth, it is an omen. Lay me down up in the ocean until you see no motion. Right now, I can barely focus. I'm showing no emotion. On your knees, show your devotion. My 
skin is black but golden I'm not here for bragging, boasting Ain't lying, I've been chosen Mind is burning, watch exploding This is my magnum opus Are you with me now? Said, are you with me now? Ain't felt this good in a while They want us to simmer down Can you hear me now? Am I going in and now? I stop and just look around To see if you're with me now Tell me, are you with me now? Ready to put it down Start at the bottom, I already forgot him, but they won't forgive me now You really ain't ready now You haters just in the crowd But still I just look around, are you with me now? Why you with me? Step in the fire, get ready to take it higher Real nigga coming out your amplifier Y'all want every black man to be with your pride Why these weapons fuck up and turn into shy, huh? Cell phone became your brother Internet replace your mother You leaving homies on red It's no wonder all your friends dead Jealousy was a centerpiece, so my best friends turn to enemies Sabotage my identity, why they wanna treat me like a Kennedy They wanna affect the legacy, protect the heart, I cut off the extremities I'll never be another piece in your recipe for social supremacy Are you with me now? Said are you with me now? Ain't felt this good in a while, they want us to simmer down Can you hear me now? Am I going in and now? I stop and just look around to see if you're with me now Tell me are you with me now? Ready to put it down Start at the bottom, already forgot them But they won't forgive me now You really ain't ready now You haters just in the crowd But still I just look around Are you with me now? Why you with me now? Why? Are you with me now? Said are you with me now? They fuck this good in a while They want us to sing it down Can you hear me now? Am I going in and now? Just look around to see if you're with me now Tell me how you're with me now Ready to put it down Start at the bottom, I'm ready for God But they won't forgive me now You really ain't ready now You haters just in the crowd But still I just look around Now you're with me now, why you with me now? Whoa. I feel it coming now, man. It's too late to shut it down Nothing but silence Yeah, I'm quiet, but fuck all that shyness Go crazy, turn this bitch into an asylum You fly, but we ain't looking for pilots I never bow down to a tyrant, it's highness Even Jack said, fuck all them giants What goes up comes down, man, that's basic science Look at my iris and you'll see the fines I'd rather not get involved with you niggas What's the problem, man, I'll solve all you niggas, huh? How you find when your time up? How you climb when you line stuff? Barber shop getting lined up Yeah, your head good, but your mind fucked Super damn clear, Uber everywhere This sound like Superman is here are you with me now? Said, are you with me now? In fact, it's good in a while. They want us to simmer down. Can you hear me now? Am I going in and now? I stop and just look around to see if you're with me now. Tell me, are you with me now? I'm ready to put it down. Start at the bottom, already forgot it, but they won't forgive me now. You really ain't ready now. You haters just in the crowd. But still, I just look around. Are you with me now? Are you with me now?